The original plan was to build the entertainment center near the Subiaco Oval, with the idea of making the area kind of a, you know, event hub for sports and concerts. The idea was that we would play outdoor sports like footy, soccer and cricket at Subi, and have basketball and concerts in the new entertainment centre. Despite our proposal for an entertainment hub, which Mike and Brian were very much on board with, the government insisted, and I mean insisted, that we um, build it in a very specific location near the rail line in the city. I found it rather odd. It was like they were almost panicking about it. Our development applications for Subiaco were eventually denied, and the government ended up forcing our hand at building the arena at the alternate location. I legally can't say much about the construction phase, but it wasn't like any stadium I've helped plan before. There was a 10 foot wide hole, give or take, a couple inches just descended into the ground behind what was going to be one of the food stalls. When I came closer to investigate during a visit on site, I was simply told, no, you can't enter it. Jono was taken yesterday, and I don't know what's been going on with that hole, but I sure hope they plug it up soon. I had a shift a couple years back and I'd been asked by this guy I'd never seen before to follow him into this musty dark room over by the back of the arena. He was wearing a security uniform so I just went along with what he said I guess. After he'd left, I just stood there, just waiting for whatever he led me down to somehow appear. Several minutes had gone by and I was going to go back to work, but I could just make out this thing. This thing that was almost fuzzy and lanky. It was almost like it didn't belong in this world. I remember it just staring at me intensely, as if it was going to do something horrible to me. I could only watch as it just gazed at me with that cold, blank expression. I don't really remember much else apart from just heading straight to the bathrooms and bawling my eyes out for ten minutes afterward. I don't care if anyone does.